issues, as I said, uh, uh, underlying and the, the, the why that uh, our clay is raising. I think we've been really remiss in, in raising those questions. You know, um, take the uh, the laws that govern our security sector. You know, and the implementation of those laws. Um, today, uh, I was listening on radio to uh, Abilo Kero, you know, uh, uh, saying the title of KPI that uh, uh, the Kenya Police Service. Um, uh, who chased away uh, the the the, uh, the guys in Mandara? But the KPI was disbanded in 2004. Never really been properly reconstituted since. You know, we have a law, you know, about it. We have a law about getting. In, in fact, if we are reading the yeah. the uh, uh, what the the nation was saying, you know, uh, about the divide between the AP and uh, 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 the, 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 the National Police. It's supposed to be one integrated police service. You know, it's not. The law is not being implemented. Mm. You know, yet so, uh, I, mean, I mean, for that, then I can, yeah. I can load the media uh, because actually that, that, uh, that anomaly was brought, brought out by the media. Actually, know. my point is this, yeah. is that it's not just that. There is laws all across from the KDF Act to how we use actually the KDF, which is governed again. There are laws mm -hmm. that Parliament passed. You know, to the NIS Act, you know, all of this to uh, the NSC Act, you know. All of this, we need to be looking at them and asking, you know, why are these laws implemented? Mm -hmm. And once they're implemented, then we can go back and ask, okay, well, what's not working? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think overall, um, uh, I mean, look at the CV conference that they had about two or three weeks ago. What's mm -hmm. come out of it? You know, the president goes and announces in advance of this uh, uh, conference uh, that's going to discuss radicalization or should do about it, that they've already come up with a plan, you know. Nobody seems to know what that plan what is. What that plan is. You know, they're, they're working ahead. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> then again, uh, these again. things you come and say, okay, so in terms of dealing with terrorists and da da da, da this is what we are going to do. I mean, are these things you shout from the mountain well, talks actually, about? Well, actually, for us to is, have a plan. Wait, security well, matters. And this is the other thing. Uh, um, uh, national security has always been used almost as a shield. You know, but to what extent? I mean, are you seeing no merit in it. the argument that there are things yeah. you cannot talk about? Uh, there are or things say you or can't or talk about yeah. operations. Yeah. You know, you can't talk and about... And even your strategy. Will you talk about no, your strategy? No, actually, our counter-radicalization strategy should not be uh, a government secret. You know, because actually you're going to deal with people. Yeah, eventually. you know, you're going to deal with what's the, the point of keeping yeah. it secret? Okay. Yeah, you know, and the thing is, they don't have well, one. That's like one aspect and they of refuse. it. Yeah. That's the problem is the, the government refuses to acknowledge that it doesn't have one. It refuses to acknowledge that it needs help. You know, that it doesn't. To a large and the argument it doesn't have it one is because doing. you don't know about it. Well, nobody seems to know about it. No, it, it, <laughs> well, it, 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 let's, it let's bring it, it back to here. Yeah. Yeah. It refuses to acknowledge <laughs> that it needs help. Because that, that yeah. does, not, does not exist. Yeah. 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 Let's bring yeah. it back. Yes, Nancy. I think, I think you know, at this point, we don't know whether they have or they exactly. don't. Exactly. I think it would know? be unfair, so to, just, be unfair yeah. to assume that they don't, they don't have it. But I think that's where probably the media comes in. If they had one, I think the number of attacks that we have seen, that where we've got repetitive elements, you know. Take Garissa and compare it with Westgate, mm. you know. And a lot of people keep saying, it was actually the uh, senior police guy saying, we learned nothing out of Westgate. We learned nothing out of Mpeketoni. This doesn't look to me like people who have a strategy. Mm. Yeah. Well, I guess then that's, that's where media then comes in, uh -huh. you know, to ask those questions. Yeah. You know, where is that, you know, is, is there a strategy in place? And, and I think, um, you know, I think <laughs> what media needs to do then is point us towards instances, you know, of these attacks and, and what were the pertinent issues raised, you know, with each of those attacks and then ask if there's a strategy in place why is it that we don't seem to be, you know, to be getting anywhere mm. as far as as far as security um, issues are concerned in this country? Mm. I think for me, um, you know, one of the challenges is I ask myself, do I do I trust the security operation in the country as a Kenyan? And and looking at the kind of attacks that have been happening and the way that they are executed, mm. you know, raises certain questions, and and I'm I'm worried about my own security and the security of everybody else. Um, but in terms of, of media's coverage, and I'm you know, just going back to how media covered uh, Mandera, yes. yeah. uh, you know, the very recent attack. I was watching one of the stations yesterday, yeah. and a journalist asked, uh, I think, um, a parent of one of the, the young men killed down there, 
um, will you forgive these guys? You know, will you forgive the terrorists? And I think for me that question was unfounded. <laughs> it was insensitive at the moment. You know, they had just received the news. I think the the the, um, the police had just gone to to Nyeri to convey uh, you know the bad news to these families, and journalists were uh, also there. And when you ask such a question, and, and you know the lady's response was, "How do you expect me to forgive them?" You know. I felt that that question was very insensitive. Mm. And, and that raises questions about intrusion into grief and, and shock by media. Um, I know Claire wants to say something about that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I know that we as, as the public want to know, you know, and we want to empathize with the families and all that. But where does that place, you know, uh, those that yeah. are, you know, first hand, um, what is it? No, not victims, but you know, first-hand recipients or first-hand uh, people who then have to deal with this information first-hand, like families.